So there's quite a long coverage on the Galaxy Note 10 leaks. We have gone through the speculations, renders, kind of teasers, predictions, real life pictures and all that important stuff. Today is no different. It's the same story in the clearest way possible. The video I added before is obviously the Galaxy Note 10 Plus leaked version and it seems like the device has been captured in a subway somewhere around the world. Subway leaks are very popular nowadays and just because the companies give the early production units of their mobile phones to their employees, they are always considered reliable. However, it's very rare when we get these leaks at some early spot but then it's always good to be active in the leak industry. In this video, we can spot the changes that Samsung has made with Note 10. First up, the phone looks huge in our tiny hands and that could be a problem for many users who don't love bigger screens. Also, the phone is wrapped in a protective case of some kind and the main design elements that come into visibility zone are the hole punch camera, side buttons and of course the black color. There will be some more color options in case you don't prefer a black color variant. Also, the phone has her ID on it which means she might have gotten herself into a big big trouble. It's very possible that she might have lost her job already. I know it's not her fault that someone videotaped her while using this prototype but then she took this responsibility and it's definitely not a good idea of using an unreleased phone in a crowded place like a subway. Samsung made the Galaxy Watch Active 2 official today and at the very first sight it looks like they have changed nothing which is not true. The Galaxy Watch Active 2 comes with some exciting upgrades including the rotating bezel. A lot of Samsung fans were unhappy when they removed the rotating bezel on the Galaxy Watch Active as it was useful in many ways. Well, Samsung responded to our requests in a positive way. The black area around the display is touch sensitive so you can use it like a rotating bezel. In addition to that, the Galaxy Watch Active 2 is the first Samsung's smartwatch to have the ECG feature which is similar to Apple Watch. This feature is very useful for some people with cardiac problems and I'm glad that Android has it on their side as well. It's a matter of time when Samsung will get the required certifications and then it will be active by a software upgrade. The Galaxy Watch Active 2 has also got the LTE connectivity so you can use it independently without even connecting it to your mobile phone. It can also control your phone in different ways. You can open the camera app, take a picture and watch them right there. Forget about that, it can play YouTube videos and even you can use Twitter, Google Translate on this small screen. That being said, this particular smartwatch also comes in a non-LT variant which is capable to perform all the tasks but it's dependent on your phone. The plus point is that it will be less expensive and it still has all the important stuff. This watch is great for activity tracking as it comes with better sensor and supports 39 different activities. If you want to get a mobile experience through a smartwatch, it should be the best option you are looking for. So just after the launch of the Galaxy S10, we started hearing rumors about a 90Hz display on OnePlus 7 Pro. The company officials confirmed it through different posts and finally, it became the most intriguing feature for a flagship phone. The impact was so good that the consumers who bought Galaxy S10 a month before opted for an exchange offer to get the OnePlus 7 Pro. A lot of users even criticized Samsung for not including this feature on any of the S10 models as they were the only suppliers for the OnePlus 7 Pro's display. Now it looks like Samsung was listening to all these people and they are going to take an action through the Galaxy Note 10. An anonymous Reddit user supposedly spent some hands-on time with the Note 10 Plus and he took to the internet to share some features that were not leaked before. One of those features is the 90Hz refresh rate. He says that the device he got to use was not refreshing anywhere around 60Hz. Instead, it probably responded like a 90Hz display. 
The person who got this unreleased phone was a Samsung employee and as this user works for a major communication company, he was able to get his hands on the phone. Also he says that the device looked glorious and the bezels were insanely tiny and the screen looked fantastic. He's not aware of the model though, but as the device sports a 6.8 inch display, it was very possibly the Galaxy Note 10 Plus. Additionally, he also confirms that there was no headphone jack and the Bixby button was missing too. All after that, no leakers including Ice Universe believe this because they have never heard of this feature before specifically for the Note 10. But let's see what happens next because we are just a day away from the unpacked event. That said, for daily updates like this, you know what to do, peace out.